everybody and welcome back to Writer Groupie. I thought I'd do us a little tarot reading today for characters, maybe for setting, maybe for plot. Whatever the cards come out with, that's what we have to go with you guys. So let's try it. Let's see what happens. And if I haven't told you, Happy New Year. I hope this is going to be the best year you've ever had. I hope that you don't have to wonder or worry for anything in 2021. I hope that 2021 is just a fabulous year for you and me and Ryder Groupie. And it would just please me no end if you guys would go out and like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get started. How about it? We have the Sun card in reverse. We have judgment card upright and we have temperance in reverse well this isn't starting out very well is it well let's just look at these how about if we wanted to apply this to a setting perhaps we wanted to say this setting this is the setting card and it's temperance in reverse and so you know, temperance in reverse could be that somebody's being foolhardy and they're just roaring straight ahead into disaster. They're not being patient. They're not being thoughtful. They're just kind of being, you know, just kind of rambunctious and just running into it. This could, what this could mean is that it creates a situation where there's a lot of competition and argument and bad vibes. So if this has to do with setting, somebody's moving into a place where there's a lot of competition and quarreling. Maybe your character's moving into a new apartment complex and there's just an awful lot of racket in that apartment complex and well, it's because the people there are just going 90 to nothing into, you know, arguments and dissension. Perhaps there's a, a new business for this character. They're moving into a new business. And perhaps it's in a, a strip mall. And in that strip mall, there's a pawn shop. And that pawn shop has a lot of robberies. People going in and out all the time just trying to rip them off. Because, you know, that happens sometimes. People like to buy things just to resell them. And if they don't have the money to buy them, well, guess what? So this is a, a place of quarrelsome, argumentative situations. Now, next to it, we have the judgment card, and it's upright. And that can be a good thing. It means there's new potential. There's new opportunities. Um, the decision that the person makes, I would say this decision, makes affects this. So if they pick a place to have their business and it's not a good place, then guess what? All the decisions they make are going to be colored by what happens in that setting. And so sometimes, you know, when you have a lot of, I'm going to say bad vibes or bad juju going on, it can really make you worry and wonder, have you made the right decision? And apparently for our person and the setting situation that they're in, maybe it wasn't the right situation. Well, you know, this card could make things a whole lot better for the situation. That, that, you know, maybe there's bad juju. Maybe there's a lot of arguments and stuff going on. And, and it's affecting decisions because perhaps they don't want to entertain clients there because they never know when bad things are going to happen. But this, this card right here being the sun card, if it had been upright, it would mean that it turns out okay. But instead, what has happened is it's in reverse. So that means unforeseen perils, lies, and terrible risks. So the decisions that they make are going to create even more trouble for them. And you know, when you're writing a book, you need the conflict. So this could be a very interesting scenario setting up where they've got these hidden enemies and they have to, you know, fight their way into holding their business because this, this situation where there's always something bad going on, well, you know, 
they have to work through that. They have to make it something to benefit them. Because, you know, once you've bought a building or you're renting a building, you're, you're tied into a contract. You really can't get out of it. And so, especially for a business. But even if you were just renting. Maybe if your setting was, you know, um, a newly married couple, you know, buy a house. And it's in a neighborhood where the houses are kind of close together. And weird, strange things keep happening. Well, now you've got a horror story or a ghost story. Perhaps the house is haunted. And every decision they make is based on whether that house is haunted or not. And the outcome is going to be unforeseen because, you know, how do you deal with a ghost, right? This could be a ghost story. This could possibly be a, a horror story. The setting is perfect for that. These cards reflect the setting. Um, so what do you think? You think you might have a horror story here? I think so. Good luck with it. Till next time.